I'm Colby Lewis, and I was born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, I was an athlete in high school, basketball, um, and I randomly sat in on a theater class and participated, played improv games, and at the end of the class period, I was walking out, and I was the last one out, and she goes, hey, you! And I was like, me? <laughs> and she goes, yeah. She goes, where have you been? And I was like, I don't know, playing basketball, I guess. And so she told me that if nothing else, I should take a course in college uh, on acting. And I kept my promise. Like, Colorado is actually one of the cooler places I've been to, like, pretty much ever. I would love to go to the mountains. Um, hiking out west is, is, is a really huge thing. And, and my experience a couple summers ago out west doing some hiking was really kind of eye-opening. You know, a boy from North Carolina, we don't get to really, you know, hike like you do, you guys do out here. Well, I just went to Voodoo Donuts in town, and that was pretty, the maple bacon donut was a part of that bucket list. <laughs> I bought a couple of Voodoo dolls for the cast and crew, and you know, just seeing this giant little thing with a pretzel sticking out, right. you know, it's pretty amazing. I'd be really interested to see what uh, what a Denzel could bring out of me, because I'm always like a sucker for the challenge, and I mean, playing against a guy like that, it's you have to raise your level. Whenever I have a long day of rehearsal or whenever I, I get stressed in the craft, I'll go play basketball. I'll play pickup and it clears me, it, it gets me back in touch with my body and like it allows me to kind of just release anything I've had that's been stressing me out within theater. If I could solve anything, it would be outlook. What I've found is that if someone is genuine and, and, and gives you genuine love, whether it be a smile or a how are you or something that leads to some kind of empathy. That's actually, it, it seems cliche, but it, it's really important to me.